Good evening, Your Majesties, Distinguished Minister, the King's Commissioner, Deputy Mayor, my colleagues and friends, the ambassadors of different countries, Excellencies, and ladies and gentlemen. Permit me to add my words of welcome to all of you who have joined us for this very special event. Your Majesties, it's a great honor and privilege that both of you have graced this occasion with your presence. Thank you, Your Majesty, for agreeing to receive the first copy of my book. From the time I was informed that I was being sent as ambassador to the Netherlands, and over the last two years of my tenure here, I read about the historical ties and visited several places in both countries with an Indo-Dutch connection. My reading and my travels led to the discovery of many interesting stories and facts, little known to the public of our two countries. This convinced me that knowledge about our past needs to be revived, and the story of our present must be widely disseminated, especially with a view to stimulating even greater people-to-people -people exchanges and business ties. This is how the idea of this book was born. On discovering the wonderful collection available with great institutions like the Rijksmuseum and the National Archives, I decided that a richly illustrated book full of pen pictures that sweeps through the past and the present is the best way to showcase the depth and variety of our contacts over centuries, the wonderful art and scholarship it has produced, and the fascinating individuals who have connected our societies. It is my sincere hope that this book will serve as a useful tool for all those interested in the relationship and will encourage further exploration and discovery of each other. This book, Your Majesties, is also a welcome gift for both of you as you prepare to embark on your first state visit to India. My book is divided into four chapters, the VOC era, recent history, vibrant present, and the future. The cover of the book is a 17th century painting of Kuchin. This is by Johannes Wingbones, the great painter and cartographer of the Dutch East India Company, or VOC. Wingbones never left the Netherlands, but drew beautiful and detailed landscapes based on reports brought back by VOC officials. On the back cover of my book, I feature some unique drawings of Rembrandt. It is little known that Rembrandt had a personal collection of Mughal miniatures. He created 25 drawings inspired by these, of which eight were of Emperor Shah Jahan, who built the Taj Mahal and ruled India during the time. Majesty, may I present you the first copy of this book. Great job of the Indian ambassador uh, to The Hague. And we're very grateful to him that he 
sort of found out a lot about the history and uh, of our two countries.